This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we're in a really weird spot with Standard. We're like halfway through Ravnica Allegiant spoiler season, we're gonna have a new format soon, so I don't really want to just talk about the same old deck. So today, what we're looking at is a deck I pulled from the submitted deck on MTG Goldfish, and this is a pretty interesting deck. I looked through a ton of different decks trying to find something that was pretty spicy, and this one caught my eye. This is Azorius High Alert, and it comes from Locust86. So, obviously, this isn't a tested deck because Ravnik Legion's not even out yet, but it's a really neat idea, and it's pretty cheap. Only $112, 11 ticks on Magic Online, so a pretty decent, almost budget-friendly price. So anyway, a quick reminder, before we break down Azorius High Alert for Ravnica Allegiance Standard. If you haven't already, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk some Azorius High Alert. And I gotta say, when I saw High Alert, our new enchantment that lets defenders attack and makes all of our creatures deal combat damage equal to their toughness rather than their power and can untap a creature, but whatever. My first thought was, okay, this is an Arcades card. This is a card that finally makes the Arcades Walls deck work, and while Arcades is a very likely home for High Alert, there's also another way to go about it, and that's what caught my eye with this deck. High Alert, it doesn't really need to be played with defenders. Like, yes, you can play with defenders, but it works with any creature. So we can just play high toughness non-defender creatures and take advantage of high alert that way. So how are we taking advantage of high alert? And the sweetest card in this deck is Tetsuko Yumazawa Fugitive. So Tetsuko makes it so creatures we control with power or toughness one or less can't be blocked. And our deck is full of creatures with really low power because we want to deal damage equal to our toughness anyway. So Tetsuko just makes all of our creatures unblockable, which is incredibly scary with high alert. The other sweet thing about Tetsuko is with a high alert out, it's a 3-3 unblockable for two mana, which is already a great deal in a super fast clock, so it becomes a legitimate threat. So what creatures are we looking to beat our opponent down with with the help of high alert and Tetsuko? And here we have three other options. So number one, in the two-drop slot, we have Omen Speaker, which is another Tetsuko in the sense that it's essentially a 3-3 for two if we have a high alert also lets us scry two when it enters the battlefield, which means it gets to dig for our high alert, dig for our Tetsuko. Surge Mare, super sweet. It is a 0-5 for two mana, and the cool thing about Surge Mare is it can do something when we don't have high alert, because we can pump it by paying two mana. It also lets us loot when it deals combat damage, and it can't be blocked by green creatures, so there's all kinds of upsides, but again, like Omen Speaker, not only is it a threat, but it's letting us churn through our deck and find our key pieces, our Tetsugos, our High Alert, and when we have everything assembled, it's a 5-5 five, five unblockable that's also looting when it deals damage, which is just insane. And then at the top end of our curve, we have Looming Altasaur, which a little bit janky, but basically a 7-7 seven, seven if we have High Alert out, also unblockable if we have Tetsuko, so a super fast clock coming in in the 4-drop slot. So that's the creature base, that's the plan of the deck. Otherwise, we get a ton of ways to find our pieces. Opt, Chart of Course, Chemister's Insight, just a ton of card draw spells to make sure that we can find our high alert. And really, one of the risks of the deck is we only got four high alerts. So if we don't find it, our deck is still functional. It's not like we're playing a bunch of defenders that can't attack, but our deck is much less powerful if we're attacking with one seven dinosaurs instead of seven seven dinosaurs or one three Tetsugos rather than three threes. So we really want to find our high alerts and opt chart, of course, and Chemister's Insight. Make sure that we do that and that we find more and more threats to play 
play with it. For removal, we have two Perilous Voyage, just a tempo-y bounce spell that also might let us scry if it bounces a cheap permanent, and then settle the wreckage to sweep away our opponent's board. Mana beast-wise, more card draw in Memorial to Genius, and some Zell Friends Void for scry action. Otherwise, eight Azorius dual lands, and some basic lands. As far as the sideboard, we get a ton more removal. Cleansing Nova is another sweeper. Ixalan's Binding, Deputy of Detention, get rid of anything. Blake of an Eye for more bouncing. Evoke the Divine for artifacts and enchantments. And then for the control matchups, Negate and Sinister Sabotage as counters, and more card draw and chemistry's insight. And that is the spiciness of Azorius High Alert for Guilds of Ravnica Standard. And that's been our instant deck tech for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.